Hello. Today's video is going to be about running Windows 3.0 on my motherboard project here. So, just want to go over the hardware real quick before we boot it up. Just so you can see what we got going on. So we got my four slot ISA main board. Uh, it's clear full. Got our processor. This one happens to be a V40. The V20 does work. I just happened to pick the V40 today because this V40 is uh, running at 8 megahertz. And the uh, V20 I have run is running at 5. Uh, just waiting on some crystals and then I could put that V20 at 8 as well. Got our 512K of RAM plus our ROM. Our I.O. card. Um, and our VGA card. Now I've got a serial card and coming in the mail with the port off the back so that this would fit nicely in a case and not have the extra cable here. Now this would go to a, a tab and fill up a slot. So anyway, got our our mouse here, just regular ball mouse, serial mouse, and our PS2 keyboard and then we're uh, running our USB as the hard drive. So let's go ahead and boot that up. Yeah. Check out our screen over here. Now I did order up some screen capture and hardware. It'll probably be here in December or whatever. So just wanted to show this today. I was kind of excited. But maybe in December we'll start getting some better quality videos. All right, so starting DOS. Now this is running MS-DOS, not free DOS. Mouse driver, now that mouse driver is from Windows. It kind of came with the package when I installed it. What I did was I actually mounted uh, ISO, a CD on a on DOS box, and a drive image, and installed it, and then just copied the image to this USB drive. So, anyway, Windows. You just type Win to start it. Now I I tried to boot this on my uh, actual eighty eighty eight. I got to be about this far, and then it crashed. I was hoping to show that today running on an actual 8088, but just didn't seem to work, which is too bad. So I don't know if you need the uh, V40, V20, which are running 186 code, or not. All right, so here we are, we're booted up. Now this is a touch slow, being that it's uh, the, the processor speed. Let's just kind of go here across the top. It's been a long time since I played with Windows 3.0 or 3.1.1. Use 311 mainly. New open. What does new do? New prom gem object. Anyway, we're not going to click on everything. That's for sure. Move, copy, delete, properties. Let's see what properties are. Program on end properties. We've got run. As you can see, there are some things we have uh, that uh, we still have on modern Windows that are included in this. So I ran command. It should run the terminal. There you go. Yeah. So you can run a program. Exit will take you back. The old days, you just put in your auto exec to boot right to Windows. All right, so exit Windows. We don't do that right now. Options, auto arrange, minimize on use, auto arrange. You can select those window, uh, tile cascade. So this is kind of just arranging your windows. Oh, you can open a window from here. It looks like. Let's just minimize that. Help is built in. You got index, keyboard, commands, glossary, about the program manager. So this window is called program manager. And actually, it traditionally was about this size. I made it bigger earlier when I first tested this. So then in the main, you've got a file manager. So it hasn't crashed yet. So it's running stable. This takes a minute to open. I was playing around in this file manager and 
you can run programs right in the file manager. My mouse froze there for a second. I thought uh, maybe we were going to crash. So like, this is Norton Commander. Let's head on over. Norton Commander. So I just double clicked on it. And it's running Norton Commander. I'll exit that. All right, let's uh, let's close this. So these windows. Let's see. We'll just minimize that one directory tree. So we can close this. The file manager, let's uh, exit the file manager. There we go. I can say it's been a long time uh, since I've used Windows. Uh, Windows 3, oh, that is. Got a control panel. Let's see what's in here. Got our fonts, mouse, desktop. Looks like you can do some settings here. We've got print manager. I don't have a printer. I don't really want to mess with that. Clipboard. I guess if you copy and paste things, it'll come in here. I can't remember using clipboard. I mean, when you copy and paste things now, it'll say copy to the clipboard. So, uh, DOS prompt. That'll just take us to a prompt. Just like running command. So, I'll exit that. Windows setup, you can go in here and change some settings. I ran this earlier, I thought maybe I could optimize this for the machine where I installed it in a DOSBox machine. I thought that that didn't give me any options that were really useful. Speaking of that, uh, I didn't have to change any settings. I just copied it over and it ran just fine uh, from the DOSBox image, that is. So it just shows what we got here, and then you can come in here and you can change some settings. So let's uh, minimize main. Let's look what's in accessories. Now this is pretty responsive. It is a little laggy, but it's pretty responsive. So right, this little word processor that came with Windows. That's not too bad. It took a second to finish loading. Let's see. Now if you scroll across, they don't just... You have to click on each one. Character. So you can do bold. I don't remember if there's a spell check or anything. That's something that I would definitely need. But you can do a little bit of page setup here. I exit that. Don't want to save. Got paintbrush. I think this just changed to paint on newer versions of Windows. I remember playing in here when I was in high school. Just drawing. So, let's see, let's just try the spray paint can. Let's go with red. So just like with Word, there was a little bit of lag when it first loaded, but now it seems to be working a little better. Definitely a lot of like, probably graphic memory stuff being dealt with here. It's not perfect, that's for sure. Let's try a line. There you go, the line finally popped in, yeah. So a little bit of a lag there. Let's close this. Don't want to save it. 
terminal. I was playing around in here the other day. I was trying to connect through the serial cable. I, I didn't make any progress. I think it's mainly with a modem. Unless you're just, I mean, not that I would really know that much about it. Let's just go to Notepad. Just like Notepad we have today. Not as much lag. This is probably a lightweight program. So that loaded up a lot quicker than Word, uh, Write did. I don't want to save that. Record. I don't have a camera. I don't know what this is going to do. I haven't even opened it yet. Record. Uh oh, hopefully I didn't break it. Record macro. Oh, yeah, macro. Let's see here. Record mouse clicks, drags. So I wonder if it's like a screen record. Anyway, we don't want to make this video too long. Card file. Oh, this is like for making little notes. Save. Yeah, it could be for notes. Little file save dialog. Let's not save it. Calendar. Hey, so, so it's uh, Tuesday, January first, nineteen eighty, according to this, at twelve ten a.m. So we've been into this for a few minutes now. Calculator. Ruth has got scientific mode. So this is just a basic calculator it looks like. And let's see if we can do a... Like a program. There you go. Scientific. Let's see if that is programming. Probably not. More of like a... Yeah. Well, no. It's got... It's got A, B, C, D, E, F down here. Yeah. Yeah. So it is... Pro you can do programming. So hex. You can do F... Plus C equals yeah one B sounds about right. Let's see. Close. And then the clock. So I'm sure we can go in here and change the view to digital or whatever. That's just hands. And PIF editor. Let's see, program. Not even sure what this is. Extended memory, direct modify. Okay, anyway, we'll have that and just exit this. Uh, like I say, I don't want to make this video too long. If you're interested in some of the stuff, or if you know what it is, I mean, it's more power to you. You can dig around in this. So, close that. Let's look at what's in our games. So, Solitaire. Everybody remembers Solitaire. So, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not super fast. It took a minute to deal out the cards. I changed the settings to do the little outline. I was playing this earlier. I mean, it's responsive, but it's not super responsive. As you can see, it, they deal out real slow there. So, anyway, uh, that's Windows 3.0 running on a 
V40 processor on my homemade motherboard. So, um, uh, keep out, keep an eye out. My next video is going to actually be about networking. Probably get it out in the next couple of days. I've got a network card here. And I have got it working, and I'll make a video on my network card. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, thanks for watching it today.